we have the new Series 3 Black module on display. It uh, incorporates some of the latest um, advances in both module design and efficiency uh, of our, of our uh, module architecture. First and foremost, we focused on um, making the module more robust uh, to uh, harsh environments, and in particular, to desert condition environments. So the Series 3 Black module incorporates changes to uh, the interlayer and edge seal, which are designed to allow us to pass what's called the Thresher test, which is a sequential accelerated life test, again, designed to simulate um, and accelerate uh, harsh environment conditions. Uh, so we're proud of that achievement. I think we're potentially the only thin film module uh, that passes Thresher test. Uh, and, and so that, that's a, a, it's a great um, confidence builder in terms of deploying uh, cadmium telluride technology in very high insulation uh, desert environments, uh, like you'd see, for example, in, in the Chinese desert. It's typical where insulation is high, conditions are harsh, uh, and, and that's, of course, one of the um, the uh, opportunities for constant improvement, continuous improvement in PV module technology. Our focus in module R&D is to drive up conversion efficiency and energy yield of our modules while concurrently reducing cost. And our technology is actually uniquely suited to, to do exactly that because as we improve efficiency, we typically don't add cost to the module by virtue of the fact that the thin film technology is not material limited. Uh, I'll compare it a little bit to crystalline silicon, where the quality of the crystalline silicon wafer drives efficiency. And so there's a trade-off between efficiency and cost. We don't see this in CADTEL thin film. The cadmium telluride thin film uh, is deposited in exactly the same way, whether we make a high efficiency or a low efficiency module. Um, where we improve efficiency is by learning more about the material characteristics and the relationship of process to performance. And so by tweaking our manufacturing processes, we're able to improve performance over time without adding cost to the module. That's going to be instrumental, uh, particularly in the Chinese market where, where, um, where price is critical. CADTEL has been studied globally uh, from an environmental impact perspective, and uh, it's actually um, been widely accepted in some of the most difficult markets uh, from an environmental perspective, most notably uh, the European un Union. Uh, so cadmium telluride is widely deployed in the EU. We continue to sell in the EU um, as well as in the United States. And we don't anticipate any uh, environmental concerns uh, here in China or Asia overall. We've been investing very heavily in research and development um, and in particular in what we call advanced research. So at First Solar we, we have a vertically integrated um, R&D pipeline. Uh, in the crystal and silicon PV world, um, manufacturers rely a great deal on material suppliers and equipment suppliers for their research and development. They, they buy innovation from their supply base. Uh, in thin films and in particular in CADTEL, um, it's a mixed blessing. We, we don't have that opportunity to, to let other people do our R&D. But by virtue of being forced to do it ourselves, we're able to, um, to, to control our own destiny. Uh, and so by, um, by focusing our resources and, and capital on advanced research over the last five years, we've made tremendous strides. Uh, you've seen, if you've tracked it, you've seen CADTEL research cell efficiencies go up and up and up over five years. In fact, it's a bit, been a bit of a race between us and General Electric recently, uh, but we're still at the top right now with 18.7% research cell efficiency. Uh, and we expect that trend to continue. Um, I'm, uh, I, I often say I won't be surprised if in the next year or two we cross the 20% threshold with research cell efficiency. Um, but more relevant uh, to the commercial world, of course, is module efficiency. And uh, we recently certified uh, at NREL in Colorado a 16.1% <coughs> me, a 16 efficient uh, CADTEL module, which is an extraordinary achievement, I think, by any standard. It's um, the most efficient thin film module in the world uh, that's ever been produced by any technology. Uh, and, and at least as good as most crystalline silicon modules today. That 16.1% efficient module was made largely on our production line in Perrysburg, Ohio, using production equipment with some changes and a few unique things. Uh, so you can imagine having done that, demonstrated it on the production line, it's much easier now to, um, to bring it to full-scale manufacturing. So we're in the midst of doing that today. Our typical uh, transition cycle from research result to high volume manufacturing can be anywhere from six months to a little over a year, depending on whether or not new equipment needs to be deployed. 
on the production line. Some changes require simply process changes or new material additions. Other changes require new equipment. Our challenge at First Solar is to convert that research record into a high volume manufacturing uh, capability, uh, which is really what we excel at. Uh, and, and that's the project we're undertaking over the next year or two, to, to uh, deploy those technologies into the Series 3 Black platform uh, in full, full scale production.